for this video this is going to be another flight attendant video in this one hey for this video i'm going to show you what it's like to be on reserve for three days as a flight attendant that's on reserve for me because like my other video this is not for everybody this is just my experience for everything but um so my reserve block is going to be three days let me show you what i'm talking about this is my schedule for may so this is what a reserve block is so it starts this one starts on the 6th and ends on the 8th so i have three days this one is a six day block because it starts on the 11th and ends on the 16th so i have six days so right now we're on today is the fifth and we you're going to be with me for the sixth seventh and eighth tomorrow's block starts at 3 a.m and the at-home reserve blocks are 12 hours so sorry i'm cold but um scr means short call reserve and that means that you are on call at home and when you're on call at home that is 12 hours so you saw that tomorrow will be from 3 a.m to 3 p.m this is my bag it's usually always just packed and it just sits in the corner of my room um it just has like something to go run in or like work out in something to sleep in some shoes that i want to wear if i'm casual what else do we have i know i have like something for if it gets cold and then something for if it's hot but not really like cold cold because i don't want to like if if they call me and tell me this is where you're gonna go and it's somewhere freezing i'll throw a jacket in here otherwise no because i'm not walking around with a heavy stuff suitcase when i don't need to but yeah it's like a long sleeve t-shirt and jeans and then shorts and a tank top maybe i don't even know what it is but yeah something simple whatever and then in the morning if i do get called i'll put my computer and ipad in here chargers in here and then this is my little hold on this one whoa why are we not focused this is my little tote but i'm not going to show you what's inside because i kind of want to do a what's in my bag video someday so we'll save that really it's nothing just stuff that i use for like every flight um and then this is my ipad it's charging because your ipad has to be charged um this is my class that i graduated with there's me and yeah oh guys they assigned me a trip while i was in the shower it's like gave me a report time of 8 a.m which means I'm going to wake up at like 6 a.m. because I don't believe in waking up any time before 6 unless I have to be somewhere at like, unless I have to be at the place before 6, I'm not waking up before 6. Realistically, I should wake up at 5, 5.30 because it gives me enough time to get ready, drive to the airport and get every, like, you know, but I'm not doing that. So I have to report to the airport at 8.38 a.m. I have to do one flight to D.C. and then layover the layover is 20 hours so that's a perfect day cool and then the next day sunday report to the airport at 9 10 go to fort lauderdale fort lauderdale to westchester westchester i don't know how long the layover is it's not long which i don't care because the i don't know what is in westchester but it doesn't sound like somewhere i would want to be um and then report to westchester at 6 40 a.m on monday and westchester to orlando orlando to jfk jfk to fort lauderdale that's a three leg day it's whatever we're gonna get through it i've done it before so yeah i'm gonna head to bed after i detangle my hair i'm gonna boil eggs right now so in the morning i could just wake up and eat and not have to make anything and i can use more time to get ready less time doing anything else all right my hair is detangled so tomorrow i'm just gonna wake up put it in a bun put some gel in it slick it back and get ready as fast as i can i'm gonna try to record myself getting ready but like i also want to do one day a get ready with me so it's not gonna be in depth just like the little bag tour um yeah i'm just gonna try and be quick but i'm i do a really bad job at getting ready on time whenever i film myself i take two more hours than i need to take so it might not work but we're gonna try look at this do you ever just like look at your room and really let's just look at your bed and think about the fact that you are about to leave it and it makes you want to cry like i want to cry so hard right now not because i don't want to work but because i have to get up early and leave my bed but i do like to i love hotels like good hotels i don't know what these hotels are about to look like 
So I, I'm not gonna do any research because I'm literally going to bed, but I'll show you. You'll see tomorrow just like me. It is 7.11 and we are heading out. I wanted to leave at seven, but like who cares? Cause I realized every time I, because okay, you ha you don't just park at the airport. It's not like, okay, you get to the airport at eight, park, walk, go through security and you're at your gate by 8.35. No, you can park at the airport, but airport parking is like customer parking. Like you have to pay. It's not employees get a discount, employees park free. There's an employee lot that is right next to the airport. But for some reason, the shuttles that pick you up and take you from the, the airport to the lot, the lot to the airport, they take like 25 minutes when they drive. I don't know what they have to do, like go, I don't know, I don't get it, but it takes forever. So I just like to get to the lot a little bit early because of that and because sometimes the shuttle, I don't know, I just don't ever rely on any public transportation because it's not really public transportation because it's just for uh, airport employees. But like, you know, I just don't rely on them because I they don't have a set schedule. They come whenever they want. Sometimes they'll just skip you because they're full somehow, even though there's like four stops and you're at the second stop. I don't get it. So make sure you take that into consideration. I'm not like f really feeling this look and like what's going on up here. I'm getting annoyed. So I'm going to head out. Okay, so I got to the employee parking lot, got on the shuttle, got on the shuttle at like 7.30, got to the airport at like 7.45, so not bad, 15 minutes. Um, now I'm in the crew lounge. I had to get a Celsius because I'm just nothing. I'm just super tired, that's all. <laughs> and yeah, 7.53. I'm waiting till 8.30 to walk over to the gate. That's the gate that my plane is going to be pulling into. Okay, I'm in DC, did my one leg from Fort Lauderdale to DC. Here's a little hotel room tour, hold on. Here's the bathroom, the toilet's open. Bathroom. Nice, a little tea maker, two beds. I love when they give me two beds. A desk, oh, I thought this was a little balcony. Am I, can I open this? No, I doubt it, maybe talking to myself sorry and this is the view that actually looks like jail that's crazy but the plan is to I have to write an essay that's due today I don't have to write the whole thing because I've been working on it I have to do the final draft that's due today and then my spring classes are over thank god I can't do this anymore and then I think actually there's a bakery like 12 minutes away so I think I'm gonna walk down there and eat like actual food because 
and then do my essay there, come back, change, and then go for a walk as my exercise, which not, because it is actually exercise. And I'm gonna like go for a tour to see the birth of America and stuff, so. Cool. See ya. All right, you already know, this is like my uniform, this jacket at this point, and these shoes, and then I have some slacks that I never wear, so I keep them in that bag. And then just a long sleeve shirt, because it's not cold, but it's not hot, so. I'm going to walk to this bakery, bistro, whatever. looks faked if you ask me like this is out of a movie scene i don't know but that's just me i got a tuna salad sandwich which is crazy of me but whatever and a lemon drop cookie and some orange juice and i'm going to write this essay i finished i don't know they want me to write 1500 words but like i don't have any words in my head so it's not happening okay i'm back I finished my essay. I was trying to sign up for fall classes, but it's whatever. So now I'm back in here. So I'm going to give myself about an hour or two hours to wallow in that, however you say that. And then I'm gonna get up and go for my walk, my tour of DC, which we'll see because I have this blister on my foot and it hurts so bad that I was walking from the elevator to my room, which already is like 2000 steps. I'm like, dang, it hurts. So we'll see. But right now I'm just gonna chill, watch some Hulu maybe. I decided to just get up and go for my walk. I'm going to the Lincoln Memorial and maybe the Washington Monument. It says that the Washington Monument closes, which I don't know. I guess that's like if you wanna get close, but I don't really wanna get close to anything. I just wanna see it. So here's my wrinkled shirt. I just like don't really care. I don't live here. And I'm going to record with my phone instead of this because I'm not bringing this because I have nowhere to put it, so. See you on my iPhone. I don't know what this is, but it looks like something I should be taking a video of. Um, I'm gonna check in maps. Oh, I know what it is. US Department of Agriculture. Okay, this is the stuff that makes me wanna cry. Like people just being people. Wow. Yeah, this is America as. This is the World War II Memorial, apparently. I don't know, that's what Google Maps says. I don't know why I thought that I was gonna come to the capital of the United States and nobody was gonna be here, but I'm trying to see Abe. There's like 10 million people here right now, as you can see, so. I gotta get up there and I'll show you. I guess we're taking like prom pictures and grad pictures right now. Sorry. I'm not going up there because there's too many people, but. I don't know, I have like this urge to cry, so I won't. There's also Lana Del Rey playing in my ears right now, so this is like very, very crazy. Here's another view. This is the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. I think that's the Thomas Jefferson Memorial, but I'm not walking over there. So I don't know. That's what Google Maps says. I don't know about you, but I've been walking. I almost cried at the Lincoln Memorial. So I, I, I don't, okay, hold on. That's the Department of Commerce, I think it says. And this is Customs and Border Protection. Well, that one is, this one is Agency for International Development. Like, I hope you don't think that I think I know any of this stuff. I'm literally reading the signs and reading Google Maps. I wouldn't know. I know what the Washington Monument is and I know what Lincoln Memorial is and that's about it, so. So the White House is like really close, but so is my hotel and I don't feel like walking anymore and I'm hungry. So unless Joe Biden is going to give me a free meal, I'm not going. Okay, now I'm annoyed because I walked the, to the wrong Hilton because I didn't pay attention and I knew I was going the wrong way. And now the walk back to my hotel is 30 minutes and I literally am not walking any longer. So should I just get an Uber or should I get over it? Hey, look. Damn, this thing I'm gonna get an Uber, guys, sorry. 
I'm in the hotel restaurant eating dinner. <sighs> God, I just love, I love this. Okay, so I got back, I'm all showered now. One thing I wanna say though, is like if you're thinking of becoming a flight attendant or you are a flight attendant, don't be afraid to do things by yourself if you want to. If you want to do things with other people, don't be afraid to do things with other people. If you want to do things by yourself, don't be afraid to do things by yourself. You know, I don't know. I just feel like not in this situation, but in certain situations, like you go off and do things by yourself and people take offense to it because it's like, oh, you didn't want to hang out with us. And it's like, no, I didn't. I didn't want to hang out with you and not in a rude way. I would rather just do things by myself. Me personally, a lot of this is like a first time thing for me. So being out of the state of Florida is like a first time thing for me. So right now I'm in DC. I've never been to DC before. I want to remember my first time in DC as best as I can. And I know that for me to remember as best as I can, I have to do things by myself. Like today I had eight, like today was fun. Today was fun. I almost cried every single time I looked at anything. And I wouldn't have done that if I was with other people. But that's all I'm saying is don't be afraid to do things on your own. And yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna go to bed, but first I just wanna show you. Look at that. It actually freaks me out. Like you think it's cool for two seconds until you think about blue lights and like how they use that. Like blue lights is what you see when they're like in scary little zombie apocalypse movies, like trying to disinfect the rooms and stuff. And then it's like, wait a second, let me turn that off. So I'm gonna go to bed. And we're gonna wake up at like 6.30, get ready, go downstairs, eat some free breakfast because this hotel serves free breakfast. Then we're gonna do two legs. See you tomorrow. I can't even open my eyes, dude. Shut up, like really. One thing about other states that freaks me out is like, why can I smell the water? Like, I don't know if Atlanta was like that, but New Jersey was like that. And this is like, this, this hotel at least, I can smell the water. And I don't like that because it makes me feel like, is this water dirty? But then everyone that I meet and they don't live in Florida, they're like, oh, I don't trust that Florida water. So I'm like, oh, you don't trust that Florida water, but you trust <laughs> your water stinks. I don't get paid to defend Florida, so I'm not doing it. Should I do a low bun or a like bun right here? I do it right here. When I take everything off and like take everything out of my bag, I try to leave everything right there because I am someone who forgets something wherever I go, regardless of whether it's flight attendant or not. But always just do a double, triple, quadruple check. Um, the last time, the only time I left something was in New York. I had a cardigan that I bought with my extra name tag on it and I left it. So yeah, that's not like, this is all my stuff. So we're good. Okay, so we're on the plane, waiting to board. Two legs. And yeah, I thought that we got into Westchester at 6, but we actually get in at 4, so. I might just go to the gym and eat and go to sleep. That's probably what I will do. This is the hotel room. Sorry, I'm like so, just, ugh, I'm so tired. Which brings me to what I was going to say next. I'm thinking I'm just going to go to the gym, like I already said. Go to the gym, have dinner, shower, lay in the bed, and go to sleep. Because I'm tomorrow's three legs. Today, after the first leg, I was like, I think I'm going to pass out. Like, I'm so tired. So, somebody's literally in there watching me. What the heck? some DoorDash because they said that 
like there's no restaurant but what's connected to the hotel is Ruth Chris Ruth Chris I'm not going to Ruth Chris like I'm not so I door dashed <sighs> I'm gonna eat it up and see you soon well, I guess you can't see anything even though I didn't bring hair products I still wash my hair because I was thinking about putting it in a bun again tomorrow in a bun again tomorrow. So I feel like I said in a bun. In a bun again tomorrow. And I was like, I don't think my hair could take another drop of gel or wax or anything. So I washed it. Right now, literally just the conditioner from there is sitting in it. That's what I used to style it. I'm going to go to sleep, let it air dry, um, but put it up in a pineapple. And I, I do that all the time with my hair products. And then I've done that once with like Olaplex conditioner. And no hair products but I've never done it with like hotel conditioner so we'll see if it looks good we'll leave it down if it doesn't we'll put it back in a bun I don't mind putting it in a bun I just could not put another layer of gel on top of the gel that was already in my hair so yeah anyways I'm going to drink some tea lay in bed play some games on my iPad probably and then go to sleep because I'm waking up at five <laughs> I can't do this anymore <laughs> bye I'm not going to record this morning because my camera is about to die, but it's going to be the same thing as yesterday, probably less makeup because three legs, I can't with like that on my face. It's 5.02 a.m. I'll let you know how my hair goes. I'll see you in a few. So obviously hair came out fine. Listen. All I have to say about this job, not all I have to say, but one thing, and this is not just this job, this is life period, you have to feel good. You have to feel good to do good. So like, this is gonna sound so dumb, but when my hair was back, I just feel so anxious because I feel so ugly. When I feel ugly, I feel anxious. So my hair was back the last two days. Did not like it, felt like it was frizzy, felt like there was just a clump of gel weighing me down. Now my hair is out, I feel good, gonna do good. Three legs today, we're gonna get through them quick. I'm gonna be home in no time, laying in my own bed, sleeping, sleeping in, no alarm waking me up. So yeah, that's just with this job, with life period. Don't listen to these people that are like, literally you don't have to do this, you don't have to do this, no one's checking you. No one's checking you to see if you have lipstick on or see if your hair looks nice. Well, they are checking you to see if your hair looks nice, but like, do, make sure you feel good, that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna go do these three legs, go right now to see if I can get something to eat really quick. And yeah, my camera might die, so if it does, I'll record on my phone, but I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to record anything right now. Well, not right now, but like between now and when I get home. But if I had like a break to pull the camera out, maybe I will. It would just be the empty plane though, which you already saw. Say bye. I wanna do that to my room, but I won't. I'm recording from my phone right now. My bag is literally up there with my camera in it, but I'm being lazy. We are in Orlando right now. Um, some people got off to, well not some people, some of the crew members got off to get Chick-fil-A. I don't like to get off one because I don't like being rushed. Two, Orlando is, what's happening up there? Orlando is a big, like a, everything's a far walk, so. I'm not walking to Chick-fil-A, and then Chick-fil-A is probably gonna have a line. I don't care. I'm tired and I'm lazy. Now we're going to JFK, then JFK home. Yay! All right, guys, I'm in my car in the parking lot heading home. One thing I will say that this job has done for me, before I got this job, I was like, I wanna leave Florida, I wanna leave Florida, I wanna leave Florida, I wanna leave. Got this job. And I was like, I need to go home. I want to go home. I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. My face is so greasy and shiny. I know. <sighs> like, I love every time I, oh my God, I love it here. Like, I don't want to leave ever. <laughs> and every time I have to go, I'm like, no. <laughs> Thank God I'm back. Seriously. When I'm on, whoa. When I'm on the shuttle back home, I usually order food. If I know that there's no food at home and I'm not going to stop. Um, but yeah, I'm home. And... I don't unpack until, and this is not even just for work, this is for anything, I'm not unpacking until the next day when I have like the full day to myself. I'm going to take a shower, clean all this grime and dirt and nastiness off of me, and then I'm going to sleep 
for an entire year. So that's it. Thank you for coming. Sorry if I was like mean or weird or in a bad mood. Like I feel really bad because even today, I'm never mean to people. Like even when I'm in a bad mood and customers come up to me and ask me for something, I'm never like, yes, no. Like I'm always nice, but I just feel myself start to like, people will be talking to me and I'll be like this. Or like I'll be doing service and instead of smiling, be like, can I get you something? I'm like pouring the drink, going slow. Cause I'm just like, oh, I, I gotta go back to bed. Like I gotta sit down. But the past of the past, we'll do better next time. Thank you for watching. I have to watch all these videos and edit. This is going to be so hard, but I'm going to get through it. And we're gonna post this. And I have to, I don't even know like how it's gonna look, how it's gonna be, because I don't remember anything I recorded. But thank you for watching. Bye.